Hey everyone, this is Amy with Simply Elizabeth Crafts and I have one more sheep project for you. Um, this one right here is kind of a combination of two in the Celebration catalog where it features our counting sheep stamp set and then our sheep dies. So it's this one right here combined with this one right here because I loved putting that sun in the background. So um, let's get started with making it again. Remember the sheep set is free. You can get the stamp set for free when your purchase is $50 or more. And then if you do $100, then you can actually get the dies and the stamp set along with that. So don't forget celebration will go from now until September the 30th. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out our pieces and we're going to take our card base. We're going to go ahead and fold it in half and then give it a good burnish so that it's a nice crisp fold. All right, and then we're just going to set it aside for a minute. We are going to grab all of our pieces here. I have that which will not help us at all. That was just a little leftover piece. Okay, so we are gonna do the fence from this and we're gonna need it twice. So we're gonna do, um, I should be able to get it all on there. And then we need to do a run through with the grass. We're gonna do the sun through that and then we're going to take the, this is going to be our piece that's going to run down the center of the DSP and this DSP is from the oh I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head so let me see if I can pull it out real quick here we go this is from the sweet stocking 12 by 12 so it's the one that has the dog and the cats in it um, so very versatile even though your one side is Christmas, your other side is really good for other cards. So I love when Stampin' Up! does that. Okay, so that's gonna go there. This is gonna be our inside piece, so we're gonna set it aside. We wanna stamp our um, sheep, so we need this one, and then we need our dancing one which if you watched my Facebook Live, I called the sassy one. <laughs> All right, so we need to stamp those. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll do one. And then we'll do two like that. Okay, and then we do need to stamp our hat and we're going to stamp that with pear pizzazz on pear pizzazz. So we're going to do it right down here like that. Okay so that's all the stamping that we will have. So we'll put all those inks away. Okay let's color in our sheep here. So I want the dark and the light smoky slate. We're going to do, do the dark on the hooves, just like we've done all week. And we'll do the ear and the ear, and then we're going to do the face. Okay, and then we are going to do this face on this sheep, and we're going to watch out for that eye. Okay, and then we're going to do the hooves from this one. And the little ear. Okay, now let's take our light. And we're going to take our color lifter as well and we're going to just run let's do our other 
small side. And we're just gonna run this along the outside and we're gonna color in our legs as well while we do that. Okay, and then we're gonna go over these little lines just like we've been doing. All right, there we go. And now let's take our color lifter and we're gonna go over all of that. All right, let's blend that in just a little bit in that center part so that it's not so stark white. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing to our other one. So we're gonna go around and I'm not like making it look pretty by any means. It does not have to look pretty. And we'll color in the legs as we go by. You can definitely take your time with it, but I think it looks just fine. Kind of doing it sloppy like. Okay, and then we'll do this one. Kind of pushing that toward the center. So I'm doing circle motions. And then it'll color in that inside there. Okay, all right, so let's bring in the Big Shot. The Big Shot, wow, <laughs> our cut and emboss machine. Let's bring that in today. All right, make sure I'm in there. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're gonna lay as much on here as we possibly can. So I'm gonna lay this up here. Just like that. We're gonna lay, we're gonna overlap that. We'll be okay with it. So we're gonna do our grass. Let me grab our little hat. And it's way down here at the bottom. And one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my tape here. Just make sure that I don't do that. Okay. Those don't necessarily care about that. Okay. So there we go. All right, and then let's put our sheep over here. We've got one there. I'm just gonna put tape on there just to make sure that we don't move because I'm definitely famous for moving it. All right, and then we're gonna put this one here. All right, and then we're gonna need some clouds and stuff too, um, but we're just gonna do the balloon on this one and we'll do the, we'll need those to do our clouds. So we're gonna have to run it through a couple times. All right, let's see. I need to adjust that again. We can get it all on here, right? I'm certain of it. There we go. All right, we're gonna run it all through. Give it a good shake of the whole table, right? <laughs> All right, so then we're gonna take off what we don't need. That hat and then I'm gonna need two more pieces of grass. So we're gonna run that through again. Okay. 
and it doesn't look like I'll be able to get two out of that. So we'll just do the one and we'll make that work. All right, Ooh, try not to rip it. Okay, all right, we're gonna throw that on there, throw that one on there and throw this one on our magnet so we don't get anything lost. All right, so then we'll go ahead and do, wonder if I can get it on over here. We'll get that on there. All right, that'll be good. Okay, so then let's see. We will run, we'll just run these through here real quick. We can make that work with the with our card. Okay, so we've got those two pieces of grass. And now what we want to do is we want to take our white piece and we're going to cut out um, some clouds. But I'm going to actually do a little trick here. I'm going to put this piece up under here. I'm going to cut out two at one time. And then we're going to put that one there. So that you don't have to sit here and watch me cut a million times. All right. So that gives me my two there. Oh, and we actually only needed three, but that's okay. All right. All right. So now what I need to do is I need one more fence. Let's put our clouds there. And I'm gonna poke out all my pieces here. That's the wrong one. We want the pointy one. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna stick this here. We're gonna pull that out. And I'm just gonna pop out those other pieces. Okay, now all I really need is just a small Piece of it so I'm just gonna line it up there and we're just gonna run that piece through okay that should be all of our die cutting we should not need any more we have used our cardstock well all right, I'm gonna pull those off real quick Okay, I'll set that aside and now we're going to start assembling our card. So we're going to put, um, see this is the back. It's very Christmassy, right? <laughs> but the front is not. Well, that probably is more the front because it's Christmas paper, but we like this. Okay, so we're going to adhere our basic white cardstock to our DSP and we're going to kind of do it down the center. And I think that's probably good. That is, that is fine. I think it might be a little crooked, but we can deal with that. Okay. The next thing we want to do is we want to bring in our card and you know what I forgot to cut out? The sun. So let me do that off camera. All right. There we go. All right, let me see if I can get it to come out without having to grab the pokey tool. But apparently I will have to grab it. Sometimes when you drop your, um, dies down on the table, they will pop out. I'm gonna go ahead and pop out this one because I'm gonna need this one. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna put our gates or fence or whatever you wanna call it. 
we're gonna put it on our cardstock and we're gonna start like this. And we actually, we're gonna go ahead and actually attach this to our card base. Let's do that first because we're gonna go all the way across the card. Okay, so let's line this up here. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and adhere this. We're gonna line it up at the bottom, but we're gonna go all the way across to the end, okay? So what I'm gonna do is some glue dots. I had some glue dots somewhere. And I honestly, oh, here they are, right in front of my face. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick this up and I'm gonna adhere some glue dots to the back of it. Maybe. Mm, that's a sticky one. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna put one in that center part. Okay, now let's attach it over here. So we're gonna line it up with the edge on the bottom and the side, okay? And now we wanna do this part, okay? We're gonna put a glue dot there and then a glue dot there and one more on the top. Now we're gonna attach this right here. Okay, and then we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna cut off that. Okay, there we go. And get those out of the way because they have a little bit of adhesive on the back. All right, so now what we wanna do is our grass. Okay, so pull those in. And I'm gonna kinda of line it up so that I know what is gonna be hidden. So we're gonna do Let's do that one kind of like right about there and we're going to make that flat so we're just going to put adhesive on the back of it okay like that we're going to pop this one up so we want to do many dimensionals we're going to do one two and do one more All right, we're gonna put this one here. We're lining it up with that bottom part. Okay, and then we're gonna do this one flat right here. Okay, so it's going to the end of the card and then it's the edge of the bottom and then this is going to be popped up so we want to do three dimensionals on it and then we're going to pop it up and we're just going to make sure we cover up that little piece like that okay so that's our grass now let's take our sheep and we're going to pop those up so we're gonna use regular dimensionals. So one, two, three, and one, oops, two and three. All right, so we're gonna have this one jumping like that, and this one jumping 
like that, okay? And now what we wanna do is we're gonna take and put our clouds and all three of our clouds are gonna be popped up. So I'm gonna get those separated. So we're gonna flip them to the back and make sure that we put dimensionals and we're gonna do the <clears throat> mini dimensionals again. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. I like how I count. I do this every time. Whenever I'm <laughs> making cards or creating or whatever, I tend to count the number that I put on. Don't know why. I put the same amount on pretty much every time. All right, so we're going to stick this one here. And then we're going to stick this one right here. Okay, and then this one, we're gonna put this sun behind it like that. So it's gonna stick to the back of this dimensional right here, like that, okay? And then we are going to add adhesive to the back of it. I had to find my adhesive, okay. And then we're gonna take those backings off on the other two. And then we're gonna stick this right here. Okay, so now we need to add our party hat. So we're gonna put a glue dot on the back of it. And then we're gonna stick that right there okay then we are going to take this balloon and before we put it on our card we're going to take our pumpkin pie and this is the light and we're just going to color that balloon a different color so that it's not white then we're gonna put a dimensional on the back of it so we can do just a regular size one right there. And then we're gonna just put this balloon right there. Okay, so there is that. And then all we need to do is take and put our um, inside piece in. And there is our last project with the sheep. I hope you guys really enjoyed these projects. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. And if you are um, wanting some free stuff or you're wanting to get the counting sheep and the sheep dies, make sure that you get your order in between now and September the 30th. And you can order anything from the mini holiday catalog or even from our annual catalog. You can order off the clearance rack. Um, as long as your order gets to $50, then you can pick items out of the celebration. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And for those of you who are taking the Columbia class, uh, make sure you join me on the Simply Elizabeth group. Or no, it's Simply Elizabeth Crafts. That's all it says. Um, it's the actual page in Facebook. Make sure you join me there at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. See you guys later. Bye.